When actors take on a role, they have to step out of their life into the characters. But let's just say some of these actors didn't have to do much of a stretch. That's a good way to put it. Yes. Nana's Naughty Knickers follows the hilarious situation with a girl and her grandmother. It happens to be that the actors in real life are grandmother and granddaughter. And Sherry Conjura and Louise Keaton are here to tell us more about the comedy at the Palms Theater. Thank you, ladies, for coming. Our pleasure. Yeah, so absolutely. good to have you here. So with a title like Nana's Naughty Knickers, what is this show about? <laughs> It's about a grandmother living in a rent-controlled apartment in New York City who is bored with her life, and she worked for Maiden Form for many years, so she decides to make fancy lingerie <laughs> for the older set. Okay. <laughs> However, she doesn't have a business license, and she doesn't have this and that and the other thing that she needs for legal purposes, and granddaughter shows up who's studying for the law and finds out about all this, and... Mayhem. Craziness. Too. Mayhem. Yes. Craziness. Well, I'll, just by the title, I'm like, oh, this is going to be it, cool. It's you know, be good. yeah, very, a lot of comedy I can tell. <laughs> so, how does it feel to work together in this oh, it's um, amazing. characters? Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. This is the fourth time I've done this show. And when the producer came to me and said, uh, we're going to have to find a new Bridget, I said, uh, my granddaughter has been a working actress for a number of years and is exactly the right age and type. Mm -hmm. and, and it worked out. Yeah. Voila. And she ended up directing the show as well. So yeah. it was really interesting going from working with each other on stage and then working with her as a director. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing how seamless that ended up working out. Oh, thank you. Wow, <laughs> pulling double duty. It, it, was, it was tough. I, I had originally planned to just direct block and everything mm -hmm. until the producer got here. He was taken ill and he called me. He says, take over. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's how, that's how things theater. happen yeah. sometimes. Yeah. But Fortunately, I'd done it three times before, so I knew the show pretty So you were a pro. Mm -hmm. And so who would you recommend <laughs> should see this show? Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, older people absolutely love this show mm -hmm. because, of course, Grandma's doing all this. <laughs> but you'd be surprised. Men get drugged to the theater by their wives, and they come out, and they go, I didn't think I'd like this. Uh, I'm loving it. Yeah, you got so, romance. You got comedy. You got action. It's for everybody. A little bit for everybody. <laughs> I love it. And actually, in just a few moments, you guys are going to do a scene for us. Can you kind of set up the scene? Sure. Sure. This is pretty much when Bridget first finds out what Nana's doing. Okay. Love it. I'm assuming she's going to be a little surprised. The, <laughs> yeah, the, the black market of knickers, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I have uh, hidden closets in my house that have gotten revealed quite by accident. Ooh. And she wants to know what's going on. She, she wants it. to know. Yeah. Well, if you want to catch Nana's Naughty Knickers starting this Thursday through February 7th, for tickets and more information, you can call 480-924-6260 or log on to thepalmstheater.com. And now, as promised, here's a performance from Nana's Naughty Knickers. Yeah. I make lingerie and then I sell it. Sell it? What do you mean by sell it? Oh, Bridget. People come into the apartment and they give me money in exchange for the lingerie. The company's actually becoming quite popular. Company? Saucy slips, etc. Are you kidding me? Sa saucy slips? Etc. Lingerie designed specifically with the senior citizen in mind. Why didn't you just call it Nana's Naughty Knickers? Oh, pff, no. Saucy Slips has a wonderful ring to it. Oh, I had flyers made up. For what? Why, to hand out to people, of course. Last night was bingo night at the Presbyterian Church down the block. I attended the festivities and handed out the flyers to my target audience, see? Uh, I need to sit down. <laughs> Saucy Slips, etc. Designing lingerie that will fire men up for a price that won't burn a hole in your wallet. Oh, wait, what does this say? No sales tax charged. You're not charging retail sales tax? Oh, no. New York sales tax is far too steep. Well, it wouldn't be fair to tax my clients if I'm not giving any of the money to the government. Nana, I'm almost afraid to ask this, but do you have a license to sell things on private property? <laughs> Apple pie, you are just adorable. Of course I don't. Nana! Uh, that is exactly why our landlord, Mr. Schmidt, cannot find out about any of this. He's dying for an excuse to evict me. No, what you're doing is illegal. You're breaking the law. Well, I don't see how anyone can find out about it. You just advertised publicly at a senior citizen's bingo game. Oh, no. All of my clients know perfectly well not to breathe a word to anyone. And since I never file the extra income on my taxes, what? I really don't see that. Now you're breaking several laws. Nana, you can't do this. Now, you see, that's why I didn't want to tell you. I knew you wouldn't understand. <laughs> 